Alright, so before I start this, I just want everyone to know that the background image belongs to Lindsay12325, which I'll put their link in the description below. And I was inspired by Bloody Ravenheart 13, um, you know, for Warrior Rants and stuff. And I'll put her link um, below too. Because she does really good rants, and I think you should check her out if you like this. And, you know, you just like wear your rants in general. Anyway, so, basically, today I'm going to be talking about Millie and Blossomfall. Now, a lot of people have different, like, fixed, mixed opinions on those two. Um, but if you're a Millie lover, you might want not want to be in this video right now. Um, you might get really mad at me. But, um, also, major spoiler alerts for, I think it's the Power of Three series, and on. So, yeah. Anyway, um, so let's get started. Um, the first thing I want to tell you about Millie that I don't personally like is because she changes so much in the, like, book series. And she acts like she's, like, the leader of the clan, and I don't know why she changed that much, she just did. Her character literally changed. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I actually liked Millie at first. Um, I have the Forgotten Warrior, um, that, um, I really, honestly, I didn't mind her, she was really nice. And I was actually kind of hoping she'd be a good character, and you know, the Warrior series, but the thing is, she really changed, and she she's gotten to my, like, bad side of Warriors, I'll just be honest here, um, and I'll explain why, um, um, I actually wrote down, like, a little list of what I don't like about her, the first thing I really didn't like about her was when she, it's not that I don't mind that she didn't take her Warrior name, it's just the way she said it. It was like, oh, you can respect me until the day I join Star Clan, but I won't. I want my name to be um, kept as Millie, or something like that. But it was. It was in a way that seemed really. I don't. I can't. I don't know the word for it. It just seemed really offensive in a way. But anyway, um, that's really out the on um, topic right now. But um, no. But what I really didn't like about her at the first part was she told Firestar that because she went to the vet means she won't get sick. That caused so many problems in the later books. I think it was the next book where she got sick. And then while she was having kids, Graystripe goes um, to j -Paw. Well, if you have to save any of them, save Millie. God, they have so bad parenting skills. Their parenting skills are at the bottom of the charts. I'm serious. Who tells... I don't know. It's... Ugh. I, I don't understand that. I mean, you would think that if Graystripe would have said that to Silverstream and um, Cinderpaw at the time, what would Cinderpaw think of him? I, I just got that question in my mind. Anyway, that's off topic, too. Um... So yeah, she's pretty bossy, and she thinks she- I'm, I'm not going to like go into detail, but she really thinks she knows it all, especially in the later books. Anyway, um, continuing on. So after Graystripe tells Jay Paul that if, if he has to save any of them to save Millie and said the kids, which really made me angry, then I honestly don't think that Graystripe really and don't get me wrong, I, I did like the couple at first, but I started noticing something. But the way Silverstream acted to her when she was dying, and she says, I don't want Graystripe to be um, heartbroken a second time, it, I feel like it's a substitute for Silverstream. I really do. They both look the same, pretty much. And he was literally on the merge to dying, thinking about her, then next thing... He sees is like an image of her just in a different cat and that's Millie who saved life and 
I don't know, it's just, it, it's really weird because I feel like he doesn't really like Millie, but he's thinking of Silverstream instead of Millie. I don't know, it's confusing. Anyway, uh, let me go down a little bit. Um, there's another thing everyone hates about Millie, I'm not even joking, and the thing is, I don't, this is where I start hating Millie, and I never understood her after that. I was going to do fan art for her, and I got lazy, and I didn't. Um, after, um, Briar Kit ends up, I, I don't know which book it was in, um, but when Briar Kit gets threatened by a snake, I got so mad at Millie, and you gotta think about it at first. If all the other queens like are really overprotected of their kits at first, don't aren't they? And they literally watch them when they're outside, and they make sure they don't get into like trouble, especially when they're that young. But she didn't. It's obvious she wasn't looking, because Honeyfern, um, no, not Honeyfern. Um, wait, I think it was Honeyfern. Hang on. Uh, I'm so. Sorry about this. I forgot her name. I think it's Honey. Yeah, it is Honey Fern. Okay. Um, Honey Fern's the one who saw it, and she literally risked her life to save Millie's kit. Now you would think Millie would be, you know, grateful, but she was ignorant, and I don't blame her for being scared. But she could have at least showed like she was sorry for not watching her kit. And instead, she made a cat die for it. And it's not that I blame her, but she could have, you know, she probably could have prevented it in the first place. Um, after that, though, um, when Briarlight, um, tried saving Longtail, after that, things just went horrible with Millie and the kids. I'm not... Um, I remember reading when she used to get really angry with J-Paw, or J-Feather at the time, I think, because she wanted to be with her kit when she was sick, and just so much stuff was going on that she started forgetting about her other kits. That is the worst thing a mother can do, ever. And it's just so wrong. Why would you forget your kits like that and then act like they're not even part of your you know, like, family. And the worst thing about it is that, um, when Blossomfall and Ivy Pool get trapped in the, um, underground, the, the tunnels, when Ivy Pool comes up, um, Whitetail is all over her. She's literally, like, she's frantic. She's sad, and she just, she's worried about Ivy Pool, and she was so grateful to see her. But when Blossomfall comes out, next thing you know, instead of um, Millie coming out, you know, worried about her, she comes out snapping at her. What kind of mother would snap at their daughter after being missed and gone, missing from the clans? That is just sick. I wouldn't do that to anyone. And, you know, just not in, yeah, if I was in cat form. <laughs> but anyway. And then... I think it was Brackenfur, I don't know, but he said, well, at least they're still here and not dead, and then she snarled at him. So obviously, she doesn't really care about um, Blossomfall that much, and this hurts her so much because she starts taunting her, I guess you could say, about how Briarlight would do anything to be... Um, like help the clan and while she's out getting lost in tunnels that is so mean why would you say that to her when she doesn't even have a mom anymore that's just sick but um basically she gets jealous of her sister she feels like a monster for it she feels like her mother doesn't like her and the worst thing about it is that i mean her brother doesn't really he's not even there for her i mean i'm not trying to sound like a hater to Bumblestripe. I actually liked Bumblestripe, but he didn't care for how she felt at all. I don't even think he he even asked once. Um. So I think the following night after that, no, it might have been earlier. I don't know, but 
Ivy Pool saw Blossom fall training in the dark forest. A new apprentice. That's because of Millie. She calls that because she wanted to act like a douche to um pretty much hurt her own daughter's feelings. So I'm not really happy with Millie. She doesn't care about her daughter at all. And instead she acts like she's a traitor and stupid. I don't like her at all. And I know I just repeated myself. Um, anyway, now to um, Blossom Fall. I honestly feel like Blossom Fall and um, Breeze Pelt, they have a lot in common, don't they? I mean, Crowfeather, he mated with um, Half Clan Cat, but for um, Millie, she mated with a warrior, um, you know, like a warrior from Thunder Clan who was completely lost. And she ends up going to uh, ThunderClan as a kitty pet. And of course, everyone's taunting them for being kitty pets. So she kind of has a hard life too, like Breeze Pelt. And um, not only that, but Breeze Pelt tries to get his father's attention. And his father completely ignores him or acts like a, he's a traitor, pretty much. Like he couldn't, he could be better. And that's exactly probably how Blossom Fall feels too. And... They both get, you know, they get attracted to the dark forest because they want to be loved. And that's the only place they feel welcome. And it's sad because Aaron Hunter and um, the others, they didn't finish what happened. They made us feel really excited about what would happen in, like, The Last Hope. But they didn't cover a lot, and I wish they did. I was so miserable when they came out with the, um, I think it's called The Dawn's Trail, or something like that. The newer series. And I was sad because I really wanted the, you know, series to continue, and I wanted to know more about, like, what they didn't finish. I don't know, but, um, I feel really bad for Blossom Fall, and I, I think Millie has changed a lot in the series, and it's made everyone, you know, dislike her in a way. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been Tiger Swipes with a Warrior's Rant, and yeah, I'll try making more of these, because they're kind of fun. I just gotta think of what I need to say for them, because I'm not the best at planning things. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Whee!